So in last video, we got coins from two subscribers and one of those subscribers ended up reaching out again and sending us a whole new box of coins for us to show you guys today. As we've been talking about, it's been a little bit slow as the holiday season is starting. And so we ended up getting 22 silver dollars to show you guys uh, all really nice looking coins, all really original coins. And what we're going to do in this video is talk about the 61s, the 62s, the 63s, and the 64s, and the 65s. And the reason why we're doing that is because we can start to get a mental picture of what uh, grading was like back then when they were putting coins in Rattlers and what they're kind of looking like today. And so it's really exciting to be able to show you guys these coins because as coin dealers, you end up running into a lot of coins that are okay or decent coins that most collectors will love. But when you get coins in that you love, that you get to offer to other people, it's something special. And so what we're doing differently in this video is that we're going to be offering all these coins on our website right now. So there's going to be no pre-sales. There's going to be no two days before the video airs when the coins are available. The coins are available right now. So if you guys want to check those out, Make sure to check them out at the end of this video when you're done taking a look at them in our 4K video. But without further ado, let's show you guys these silver dollars. All right, guys, the first coin I want to show you in today's video is this 1880S Morgan dollar in Mint State 64. It has a dimple obverse, which is really nice. Just a gorgeous looking coin. As nice as they really come for ADSs. Not too many issues on the coin, really, but just love it overall. Definitely my favorite. Up next, the 1902 Morgan Dollar. It's great mid state 64. If you hear me say Morgan Dollar a ton in this video, it's because almost every coin is a Morgan Dollar. We are just we are just training our eye. What is a mid state 63, 62, 61? We're gonna talk about that, show that in this video with all these coins. A little lazy on this coin, a little soft strike, but that's okay. And we have this 1887 Morgan Dollar. Really nice, flashy coin. Has some issues in the front of the face here. I think most of these coins today probably deserve a bump in terms of grade, but that's okay. We're gonna just gonna sell them as they are. Nothing's too crazy about them to where it'd be like a 66 to a 67 jump. We don't have any of those coins in this video, but this is an 1881S Morgan dollar. Just stunning cartwheel luster, min state 63, CC approved. Just once again, you could see all those minor hits out in the field, minor hits on the face here. Just something that you can expect for a 63. Once you start getting towards gem, you really need to have those obstructions off the face and very little in the fields. We got 165 to show you in this video, so we're looking forward to showing you that. Up next is this 1904 O Morgan Dollar Ray Mint State 63, CEC approved. Huge coin roll here, right in front of the ear. That's gonna hold it back from anything higher. But take a look at this really just fresh blast white coin. I can see why they submitted it. It's just really nice overall. And uh, a lot of blast white collectors out there. There's some people that love towing, some people that love blast white, and I understand both. Up next is one of the only Rattler Peace Dollars in this whole uh, group is the 1922 Min State 63. I think this one at least is a 64 by today's standards. Once again, just a little bit of choppiness out in the fields, few hits here and there. And then on the on the reverse, I saw a kind of a softness here on the top of the eagle. And once again, a little bit of just of those choppiness in the fields. So a gorgeous flashy coin. No PVC residue, no haze on it. It's exactly what you want. It was 83-0 Morgan Dollar, great mid state 63. Once again, there's this huge patch here of just issues that you normally see on 63, 62s. These just rode in the bag for many, many miles, and that's what ends up hurting them the most. Then we have this 1888 Morgan dollar. Gorgeous, nice, flashy coin. I think the collector that ended up selling these to us really was working on a date set and these were the more of the commons and he did really have a great eye for picking these out and we're so thankful that we're able to hold them and offer them to you guys. 86 and 62, gorgeous luster, just those bag marks, those big hits. Then we have this 1881-0, a little bit of a better date, 62. A little bit of a haze to the coin, but that's okay. Most of these 
I'm sure in the 80s came out of original rolls or something of the sort. Not a lot of them were tampered with and messed with. And that's why you're getting that CAC sticker today. Then we have this 1921 Morgan Dollar, last Morgan Dollar of the Morgan Dollar series before they started them back up in the 2000s where we are now. So most of the time when you see these coins, there's always going to be a softer strike right on the eagle. Um, when you're looking to upgrade, I think most of the time they look at that soft strike. Is it soft or is it full? If it's soft, it's 64 or less. If it's full then, and there's not a lot of obstructions in the fields, then most of the time it's a gem. That's just something that I've learned about 21s. Then we had this 1885 Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 64. Just nice, flashy, no major hits. We've had a lot of support from last video with people reaching out to us, trying to offer us coins. If you guys want to offer us coins from your collection, just a quick quote that I can give you right away. Just reach out to me personally at 832-538-4122. I'd be happy to talk with you about coins maybe that we have on our website or coins that you are looking to sell. But without further ado, let's get back to today's video. All right, my second favorite coin of this video is this 1879 Philly Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 64. Kind of a better date, but really tough to find in Rattler holders. CAC approved. And uh, just a little bit of an issue of a coin roll right here behind the lips. But fantastic coin for sure. Then we have this 1900 Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 64, CAC approved. A little haziness to the coin, but overall very strong in strike. Not a whole lot of issues. Luster does play a role as well when they grade Morgan Dollars. If it's, you know, lacks eye appeal, lacks luster in any way, most of the time, that bumps it down a little bit. Then we have this 1879S that we were talking about earlier that is gem. I mean, look at this coin. Really close to a 66, if not a 66 by today's standards. No issues in the fields. Super flashy. This coin's fantastic. Then we have this 1900O Morgan Dollar. We have Men's State 64. Once again, that really nice cartwheel luster. No major issues other than a soft strike, as you can see by the Eagle's breast feathers, and also see by the strike that's a little bit here above the ear. Then we have this 1885 O Morgan Dollar. We have Men's State 63. CEC approved. Just your run of the mill coin, but. No major issues. Then we have an 1884-0 oh, Morgan Dollar. We are getting the hang of this grading type of pattern here. You can see just a few issues behind the nose and the mouth. Luster is phenomenal. That really nice Jemmy 65 luster. Then we have this 1882-0 oh, Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 61. I think someone sent this in because they thought they would get a gold sticker, but I can see why based on the obverse and mainly the reverse. I mean, look how beat up the reverse is. There's so many issues on the reverse that they would probably never get a gold cack. It almost has to look like a 63 and a 61 holder for them to get a gold cack these days. Then we have this 1880 Philly. So a little lackluster. Better date. Don't normally see these in Rattlers either. Then we have this 1899-0. Morgan Dollar, Great Mint State 63. Flashy, nice looking. Try to pick it up a little bit better. Some of these coins are really hard to pick up just because of how nice the luster is. And once the light hits it, it's almost impossible to pick up. But nonetheless, a little bit of a better date there, 99 0. This 98 0 and 63. CAC approved. Just a few Omen coins right here. And now we're going to show you a few of our older Rattlers that we haven't pulled out for a while. And this 1907 Barber Half, a Mint State 64. It's from the New Orleans Mint. It's got a little haste to the coin, but it is really nice in terms of the problem-free surfaces. Strikes a little bit weak on some parts of this coin, but definitely tough to find in Mint State. And very happy to be able to offer this coin. Up next is this 1938, I'm sorry, let me change it up, 1909 Indian, Great Mint State 65 Red Brown, CC approved, 
nice gorgeous red to the coin really close to red just a touch of brown right as you can see in the Indian there really do love that coin then we have this 1938 just a little bit of a better date walking liberty half this coin really should be in a five holder today but the rattler does carry more of a premium than most people might think and that's why we have it for you guys here then we have this 1905 barber quarter really nice color to the coin that's underlying 64 cac no really problems on the coin but it does lack a little bit of luster and that's why I don't think they call it a gem and there's a light coin roll right on the cheek here is 1878 cc little darkness on the cheek and on the head but a little bit of a better date especially to find in a rattler and last but not least this 1870 kind of an odd coin here XF45 Indian head scent. A better date overall, and I haven't seen many of these in the Rattlers, so wanted to show this one off as well. But thank you guys for taking a look at all of these silver dollars and all the Rattlers we wanted to show you guys today. We wanted to take a moment and thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins that we showed off today. Did they grade a little bit stricter back then than they do now? Let us know down below. Subscribe if you're new. We're coming out with videos every single week just showcasing the deals that we run into and things that we learn along the way as coin dealers. We will see you guys in the next video.